friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so so today we are going to understand about one more mode of flyback converter that means how flyback converter works in a boundary condition mode or bcm mode okay so we have already understood about the flyback discontinuous conduction mode the flyback value switching mode the flyback quasi resonant mode the flyback uh, the continuous conduction mode so today today is the last operational mode of flyback converter that is we are going to understand about the how flyback converter works in a boundary condition mode right so let us understand this so let's get started you can see here the operating point just on the cups of dcm and ccm so that is why it is referred as a boundary condition so so this is this is this is a cup just a, just on the cups of dcm discontinuous conduction mode and ccm that is continuous conduction mode you can see here in the in the primary current waveform there is a no valley switching or uh, there is a no resonant switching here and also it's not working in ccm that means for every switching cycle your transformer primary current ramp up from zero it doesn't have some residual charge okay it ramps up on the zero so this this mode boundary condition mode a flyback converter works on the cups of dcm and ccm that is why it is called boundary condition mode so this is the operating point where the mosfet is turned on at the precise moment when the transformer has demagnetized so there is a no resonant ring you can see here this is the time this is the the time where transformer is totally demagnetized and you can see there is a no resonant ring here right there is a no resonant ring here. there is a no value switching here so but at the same time there is a no energy stored in the transformer there is a no step or residual current stored as i already explained you can see the transformer primary current ramps up from zero there is a no residual energy stored in the transformer right so this is basically on the cups of dcm and ccm you can see no residual energy stored in the transformer at the same time there is a no value switching or resonant switching here after the transformer is completely demagnetized right so converters that can operate in both ccm as shown will will transfer through the boundary condition when it passes to dcm operating ccm converter will pass through into dcm at very light load when there is a very light load or no load the converter the flyback converter will work in the dcm operating mode and if there is a full load the the converter will operate in the ccm con mode okay continuous conduction mode because ccm has a more limited bandwidth converters that allow passing from dcm to ccm should be compensated for the ccm right this is very important line you need to understand converter that requires a resonant valid detection to to switch do not allow to ccm and also will not operate in the boundary condition right so so we have understood different different operating mode of operating mode of flyback converter so it's a very confusion confusing right now we understood what is the dcm for our fixed frequency we understood what is the value switching we understood what is the quasi resonant switching we understood what is the uh, continuous conduction mode switching now we have understood what is the what is the boundary condition mode switching so it's a very confusion how do we select the operating mode of flyback converter for our application so this this is sometimes it's very very confusing to select the the operating mode of flyback converter so let me clarify here uh, which when when you select which mode right so you can see here the output power level and peak switching currents may help 
to determine the optimum energy mode optimum operating mode so this is one point another point is specific features such as operating temperature range turn on and off threshold programmable soft start low power mode primary side regulation high voltage startup cable compensation among others will determine the controller most suited for the application so this very two points by which you can decide which your flyback converter will work in the in which mode okay so guys now in the flyback series hope you 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 clear you, you now understood what is the flyback converter what is the dcm mode what is the value switching mode what is the quasi resonant mode what is the continuous conduction mode and what is the bond decondition mode and how do you select the operating mode for your application if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video